Good morning. Welcome to today's Sunday service. Let's begin with the collect. to worship is taken from Nehemiah chapter 9 verses 5b to 6. Stand up and praise the Lord your God who is from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name and may it be exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord. You made the heavens, even the highest heavens and all their starry host, the earth and all that is on it the seas and all that is in them. You give life to everything, and the multitudes of heaven worship you. Now let's continue with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing um, all of us here today on another Sunday. Uh, Like as the verse in the passage just said, um, we remember this morning that you are the creator, Lord, and you made everything. And you um, have blessed us with everything in our lives, Lord. So as we continue to praise and worship and uh, worship you this morning and listen to the sermon, Lord, I pray that we remember all the things that you have blessed us with and have done in our lives, Lord. I pray that you would um, open our eyes and our our ears and our hearts, Lord, to um, sow your words and uh, what you have to say to each one of us uh, this morning. So in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Good morning, everyone. Let's all rise and praise our God together today. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where your streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I'll turn back to praise. And the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glory. Blessed be your name when the sun's shining down on me, when the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name. 
Blessed be your name On the road marked with suffering Though there's pain in the offering Blessed be your name For every blessing you pour out I'll turn back to praise When the darkness closes in, Lord Still I will say Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be your name Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be your glorious name You give and take away You give and take away My heart will choose to say Lord, blessed be your name You give and take away You give and take away My heart will choose to say Lord, blessed be your name Blessed be the name of the Lord Blessed be your name Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name, Lord, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name.
come on my soul. Come on my soul. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. Come on my soul. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up and praise the Lord. Come on, my soul. Well, don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs. Welcome to the Sunday service. Uh, in the Cantonese, they have a theme for to today's Sunday. It's like praying for the seniors. So uh, it's a senior Sunday. So I also want us to pray for the senior as well. Uh, we have some seniors here, and I'm a <laughs> almost a senior now. But uh, uh, I also want you, if you think of uh, one or two senior in your life, or you want to pray for your parents, uh, you can raise up your hands as well, okay? So uh, whoever has someone in mind that you want to want me or want us together to pray for, some seniors or your parents, you can raise up your hands. So uh, close your eyes now, bow your head, and if you have someone that like God put in your heart, uh, you can raise up your hand. Any more? Yes, let's pray together. God, God, we always have someone in our hearts that we want to pray for, especially our family members, as well as our parents, our grandparents, or seniors around us. When we see them, we can see the grace of God. When we see them, we can see like they well live, they their life is different. They, they go through so many things, but yet they are still praising you, singing hallelujah today. Lord, we know your grace is true. Your grace is sufficient to them and also to us. So you see the hands, Lord, and you see what is in their, their heart. You know who is in their heart. And Lord, uh, be with them. And uh, we pray that your grace especially your peace will be with those people uh, who, who are in our mind. Be with everyone, Lord. Uh, bless us, Lord. Let us to uh, continue to worship you and prepare our hearts and let us to uh, understand your will and understand your truth today as well. Father, we thank you and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
my one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. Where sin runs deep, your grace is more, your grace is found, is where you are. Temptation comes my way. When I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. One more time. To teach my song to rise to you. When temptation comes my way. When I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Good morning. Today, today's scripture reader, today's scripture reading is taken from Psalm 41, which can be found on page 401 on the Church Bible. Blessed is he who has regard for the weak. The Lord delivers him in times of trouble. The Lord will protect him and preserve his life. He will bless him in the land and not surrender him to the desire of his foes. The Lord will sustain him on his sick bed and restore him from his bed of illness. I said, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in malice, when will he die and his name perish? Whenever one comes to see me, he speaks falsely while his heart gathers slander. Then he goes out and spreads it abroad. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying, a vile disease has, been, has beset him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. Even my close friend, whom I trusted, he who shared my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Raise me up, that I may repay him. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity, you uphold me and set me in your presence forever. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, 
from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. This is the word of the Lord. Okay, have a nice day. Okay, uh, I don't know whether you like it or not when you are going to um, the supermarket. Like everyone will say after everything, have a nice day. If they're polite or like okay, right? Or you go to other any customer service, this is like a uh, goodbye to you. But I prefer have a blessed day. So I want uh, you guys uh, to go, no, no need to, to stand up, okay? Just find someone, at least one person and then to like um, say have a blessed day to that person okay next to you or like around you okay just go and nice say have a blessed day okay have a blessed day okay very good you can shake your hand if you don't mind no covid there's no covid exists <laughs> okay very good everyone is blessed very good. When you say have a blessed day, and then that's it, right? And then, and then you are blessed. And, um, but according to the James, it is not like this. According to the James, it said, go in peace. Okay, if one of you say to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, does not, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? So you just say something, doesn't mean anything. So if you go and say, hey, I bless you, just like the exercise that we did right before, does that mean anything? When you say, have a blessed day, genuinely, you really want to bless that person, can you bless that person? Yes, why? Because in Proverbs 18.21 also said, the tongue has the power of life and death. If you don't believe, very simple, you go and gossip someone, you don't like that person, you always gossip and saying like some bad things about that person. Somehow, literally, you can murder that person, you know, right? Because ton has power. You have to. But also the scripture in the James is also said, hey, you have to do something as well. You are not just like say you have a blessed day and then go and that person is so miserable and then you never help that person. You understand? That is like some A and B and A or B and something like that kind of thing is happening. And if you are Chinese, okay, I guess not everyone, right? But we have a Chinese, happy Chinese New Year, right? And when I, w uh, when I was in, still in my hometown, and my parents, especially in those days, Chinese New Year, they don't want us to say some words. For example, death or something like that. Don't say this, okay? Yeah, but like only this day you cannot say it, but the other day you always like whatever you can say, no. But remind you guys according to the scripture, yeah, there's a power. Why? It's like because we are the image of God. God speak through power. He create through speaking. If you don't believe, yeah, you can really try gossiping. No, no, don't do it. But today is about blessed. When I'm reading this scripture, I struggle. I read that when I'm in, uh, in US, I, in the vacation. Uh, I read this and then I feel struggle for, especially for these three verses. I don't know whether you struggle with that. Uh, when I read that, I feel like, hey, if, if you want to be blessed, then you're taking care of the weak. In other scripture also saying, hey, uh, taking care of the poor. You're concerned about the poor and then you will be blessed, then the Lord will deliver, the Lord will protect, and the Lord will sustain. There's like kind of like a, a cause and effect kind of relationship over this scripture. And I was like uh, a little bit struggle about this. Why is because, hey, I, I did that, but why I'm not blessed? I, I have trouble. I, I am not okay. I already like helping the poor. I already helping the weak. I'm concerned about them. But why I'm not blessed? First, I think we need to know what is the true meaning of blessings. Blessings, so, so interestingly, like we are thinking, hey, your life will be so smooth, right? Your life will be okay. Everything is like, uh, it's like 
if you go to the um, uh, go to a restaurant, you need to wait, and then there's a table waiting for you, and then you feel, oh, I'm so blessed. Is that true blessings? Not really. We will talk about that. But my struggle is also, hey, I don't need to do any work. I already blessed. Why I need to take care of the weak or the poor? I already blessed because I believe in Christ. And then I, I, I'm, I struggle. I don't know whether you struggle like this or not, but I may be mixed up with be blessed or be saved. According to uh, Ephesians, we all should know for it is by grace you have been saved, full faith. So by grace, full faith, you will be saved already. And then it's also in verse 9, it said, not by works, so that no one can boast. So it's not about work. Yeah, already saved. But if you want to be blessed, somehow you need to work. Okay? You need to be obeyed of the Lord somehow. But the blessings, the meaning of blessings, I will come with an example a little bit later. So today I'm talking about, uh, there's like two ways, according to this passage, 41, it's talking about two things that if you want to be blessed, two things you need to do. Okay, the first one, to do good deeds. Like for example, to uh, concern about the poor, concern about the weak, someone who is like in, a, in, in problem, in trouble, right? And then you will, you will be blessed. Um, but for sure, there's like other better motives for being, uh, to doing good, right? Uh, not because I want to be blessed, so I do good. This is one of the motives. But there's a better motive. Is I want, I, because I want to repay or return the goodness of God or the love of God, so I do good. You understand that, right? So this is more important. But somehow, when you search the scripture, there's a 116. It said, what shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? Right? How? And then, just like today, it's like uh, the, that one, of, one of the songs, the second song, Gratitude, right? And then it's talking about like nothing we can do, actually. And God is like creator of heaven and earth. Nothing we can repay. You, we do more good deeds to others. We help the poor. And no matter what, it's not enough somehow. But one thing is very like, important for God. It's like we sing hallelujah, we praise Him. Nothing we can return, but really, I live up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. We praise Him. Just like you guys are here today. Yes, yes, you are listening to the sermon, but your heart, this is not like that you are just getting stuff. Your heart needs to still giving to God. This is the, the true life of worship. So blessings is not just, hey, you do something good and some return to you. Blessing is a genuine, generous gift from God. He gave us. According to the Old Testament, you should know, right? Deuteronomy, at the end, there are different tribes. They are talking about this. Uh, one in the, one of the mountain and the other in the other top of the mountain. They are talking about this in uh, uh, chapter 28. If, he said, if you fully obey the Lord, and then all these blessings will come to you. So it is like relationship between obedience and blessings. Okay, obedience and blessings. And then uh, and in verse like uh, 3 to 14, it lists out all the blessings. You can go there. I, I did not have, have, have the uh, site in here. And then in verse 15, it said, However, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do, do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees, I am giving you today all these curses will come upon you. So somehow is uh, it is like talking about there's also a relationship, the same relationship. If you are disobeyed, curses will come. Okay, according to the Old Testament, right? And 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 then you you will say, hey, then then, and I'm I'm so afraid, right? And I I but then in the New Testament, everything changed because of Jesus, of the grace. Even we are not faithful. We are even even though we are not deserved. God still give that sufficient grace to us. And then change everything. But it doesn't mean that you no need to do any good in order to repay to what God has done for us in our life. We have continued to obey Him, not just for the sake of the blessings. I hope you understand what, what I'm trying to say. Because you know, 
why we need blessings. Blessings is not like, hey, you are everything will be smooth in life, uh, or your exam will be passed. That is the best things. No, because we will be in a time of trouble. Everyone, including me, you know, and we need God. We need the blessings of God in order to go through the time of trouble. Okay, so it is like. There's not just time of trouble. If you, um, oh, sorry, if you go to here, you can see that the desire of their fools that we have enemies around us. We don't understand. We did not do any wrong, but there's an enemy around us. They don't. They don't like us. And then also there's sickness around us, or like you will roll your ankle and then cannot drive for a month or something like that. We don't know. There's a time of trouble, uh, but the thing is like. If you if you have the blessings of God, He can, you you can go through those problem because the Lord deliver, the Lord protects and preserve, the Lord sustains. This is important. You know, uh, many people. I, I I just came back from vacation like two weeks ago, one weeks ago, and then many people asked me about my vacation. Uh, yes, I'm going to uh, Orlando, right, and Universal Studio, uh, pretty fun, right, and uh, yes, uh, pretty fun, but if you, if you think about, um, there's like the flight uh, is interesting, the flight is very short from uh, Toronto to Orlando, do you know how long will be the flight? Only three hours. If you drive, maybe 20 hours, but three hours. And then uh, and I, I got a free ticket because I, I bring uh, my sons to play volleyball over there and then have a, have a, have a um, uh, vacation. So it's a free ticket. So it, it should be so much fun. But this three-hour fight, you know, um, I never have this happen in my life. And then we fly, and then it's on time. And then, and, and then almost, when we almost land Orlando, the, the, the captain said, uh, sorry, there's like a thunderstorm going on. And then you see the, the flight is like turn, turn around and around and then cannot go through. And then later on, they, they said the Orlando airport has been shut down. So we have to go to another airport, Atlanta. So uh, we go to Atlanta and then it's good because we can go out <laughs> from Atlanta and then have a have a have a dinner, and it was free too. They are, <laughs> they, they 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 provide like, uh, but we have not came in. Okay, but but the thing is like we can go, but it's like long time. We are already like very tired. It's uh it's like late not late night, but it's already like I don't know how many like maybe it's eight o'clock over there. When we come back to the flight, and then there was a a, a six people, they are not showing up. <laughs> so if you know that, then then there's no six people is not showing up. Then the, the the flight need to because all their baggages are there and everything is there. They have to wait and then we wait another an hour. So at the end we go back, really going to Orlando, and then we need to find. Uh, we we have rent a car, but it's late like around twelve midnight we arrive. And then we, are, we, we, have our, we, we, we have our ride, I mean, we have rental our car, but then there's no SUV over there. And then we struggle, and then you remember, my feet is like this, so Mona is like walking around for me, and so crazy. Even it is a free flight, and the rent, car rental for the first four days also free because of the, the tournament. But it was not okay. But if you know the West Jack, you know, I was blessed. Do you know the news? Yeah, it is on strike on Monday, and then the government said, hey, I come up on you guys, no, don't worry. You cannot, you cannot have, you cannot have the strike. And then they said, the, they, 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 they did not do the strike. And then on Friday, right before we are leaving, they said they were on strike again. And then all the flights should be canceled, but not our flight, not our flight, because the flight is like from Florida. They have to go back to Florida, so <laughs> that is the reason. You know, what I'm trying to tell so many stories. I, I'm thinking about what is the meaning of blessings. Blessing is not like everything is smooth. 
blessing is not like everything is like according to what we think or what we want or how we pray for. The blessing is really like in the time of trouble, God is with you and He will help you out. And I think that is a true meaning of blessings. And yes, I, I will relate it to maybe, I, I, may, I may relate it to, hey, I, I help someone, uh, help some poor, and I give some uh, coin to someone, so I'm blessed. Maybe like this, I don't know. But no matter, this, this is not like correlation, I don't know. But the, no matter what, we are blessed because we believe in God, and God is with us. And the grace is always sufficient according to the New Testament. Okay, so when you are in a time of trouble, continue to pray, continue to trust in Him, and then the blessings will come. Yes, seven hour, and then we arrive in the in the hotel is three o'clock in the morning, and the and the tournament will start at eight o'clock. Crazy, right? But when I look back, still a blessings, still a blessings. Right? So it is so different. But this is the first one. But we have to really, according to the scripture, there's a command and there's a effect. So continue to do good. This is the first one, how we can be blessed. The second thing is more obvious to confess your sin. According to Psalm verse 4, it said, I said, have mercy on me, Lord, heal me, for I have sinned against you. I guess the, 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 the writer is David, and he should be uh, having some, like, maybe sickness or something. So he is, like, uh, asking for God's for mercy to heal him, especially when he was, like, uh, having, like, sin. He, 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 he wanted to confess his sin. Somehow, you know, why we are suffer, not because the Lord is, like, away from us. We suffer because we sin, Right? When we sin, or other people sin, it's not because God is not there. It's because of sin. So somehow we have to confess our sin. There's a two person as well in the Bible also said, I have sinned. Let's check them out. First Samuel, Saul replied, I have sinned, but please honor me. Uh, this person you, is like too obvious because he said Saul, it's King Saul. He said, I have sinned. The second person in the New Testament also said, I have sinned. Matthew 27. He said, I have sinned, for I have betrayed innocent blood. And then he, he, he flow the coins into the temple. You know who is, who is this person. These two persons also said, I have sinned. But the first one, you can say, I have sinned, but please honor me. He's a king. He, want, he don't want to lose face. He want, like Samuel, continue to honor him, that he can worship before the Lord. He's thinking about himself. He's just saying, I, I'm sorry. Right? It is not confess the sin. And this guy, I have sinned, Judas, right? And then he, 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 he don't know, like he's not just sorry about he do something wrong. He is against someone. It's so different between these two persons and David. Why David? Yes, he always sinned. I cannot say always, I don't know, right? But he's like recorded, he's like a sinner, main sinner, murderer, adulterer, right? And, but he know, he confessed his sin. He know it's not just like he's sorry about what he done, but he know that who has he again, sin against. This is very important to us. When we sin, yes, the Lord is because of His cross. Every sin already forgiven. But sin is sin. Right? We have to confess and we have to know that we are sin against our Lord. Yes, don't worry. Yes, we are against our Lord. But David was have mercy from God. And if you are genuinely ask for forgiveness, God will forgive you. And that means if you, if you don't want to be blessed, continue to sin, right? But if you want to be blessed, yeah, keep on, like confess. 
in the baptism class, I always ask this question. If you are baptized, you may, I, I may already ask you. If you have not baptized, uh, I, yeah, a little bit like spoiler in here <laughs> in the interview. So I would say like, for example, if you already baptized, will you continue to sin or will you sin? And then the answer would be yes, because we are weak. There's a temptation. We will. But the thing is like, even we, we sin, we have to go and confess the sin we sin against God. And God is gracious, and He will forgive our sin. Okay, so somehow, what is sin? It's the same thing, it's like according to the book of Romans, we know, like, therefore no one will declare righteous in God's sight by the word of the Lord. Rather, through the law, uh, through the law, we become conscious of our sin. So God gave us the law and then made us to understand what is the meaning of sin according to the book of Romans, right? So then we go back to the Old Testament. We, we need to follow all the law. No, no, no. Because according to Jeremiah, there's a, there's a prophecy in 31. He said, I, the Lord said, I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. So we all have our, the, the law in, in our hearts. By what? By the Holy Spirit. When we believe in God, when we believe in Jesus, Holy Spirit will come. And then we will know, even you don't read the Bible, even though if you not read the Bible, you don't know what is right and what is wrong according to the scripture. But somehow when you sin in your heart, the Holy Spirit will remind us. We, we need us to understand. So, I, I think I, I don't. I don't think you don't want to be blessed. I don't think you don't want to have a blessed day. I think you have to confess our sin. You know, it is hard because life is very complicated. According to the uh, to the psalm, continually he said, "My enemies, right? There is like enemies around us. We don't understand. We don't do anything wrong, but there is enemy, right? And then, and somehow, when there's an enemy, we, we will be so angry about those people. And then, according to Ephesians, he said, "In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold." So angry is an emotion, but then if you sin, then you gave the uh, devil a foothold. Foothold is like a place that to make someone to get closer to you, right? So don't create foothold for the enemies. So it is like so he, he, the the life is so complicated. There's like enemies around us. Even according to the scripture here, even your close friends. They may turn against you. We don't understand. We don't know why. Right? There's so many problems happen in life. And that is the reason why we need the blessings from God. We need. But somehow, when I'm reading at the end in here, as it closed, it said, but may you have mercy on me, Lord. Somehow we really want to be blessed. But when I'm thinking about more deeper, I think... We are not need. We don't need blessings. We need the Lord. We need the source of the blessings, and we have the Lord. Though we have Jesus, we have. We need the mercy of God more than like just the blessings. Have a blessed day, a little bit smooth, a little bit like uh, peace. No, we need God. I don't know about your situation now. I want to invite uh, the cross team to come and. And as they come to prepare the responsive song, I really want you guys to think about your life. If I ask, do you want to be blessed? I remember when we do a benediction, every single time benediction is like, everyone is more genuine, like a look, <laughs> than the like, opening prayer. They may not like ready for the opening prayer, but really ready for the benediction. Why? Because we all want to be blessed, right? We all want it. Um, but in your life, do you have something that is like hinder you, like you cannot go come closer to God and be blessed? I guess it's like sin. So I want to uh, ask uh, the worship team to uh, have our responsive song now. 
and then during the song, if you want to confess your sin, you can continue. You can sing. You don't need to stand up, but to listen and then to pray. At the end, I will pray for you all. Okay. Sin runs deep, your grace is more, your grace is found, is where you are, where you are, Lord I am free, holiness is Christ's sin. song to rise to you when temptation comes my way when I cannot stand I'll fall on you Jesus you're my hope and stay so teach my song to rise to you when temptation comes my way When I cannot stand, I'll fall on you Jesus, you're my hope and stay Lord, I need you, oh, I need you your eyes continually and if you have a sin to confess you can raise up your hand if you want to write make right with God you can raise up your hands we pray for you yes. yes you can 
play down? Yes. So don't make it like you, you just get used to just raise up a hand and then do it again. Just like there's a, there's a story in the gospel is talking about there was a lady who was caught up with adultery and then no one judged him after and then Jesus said I don't judge you but don't do it again if you have anyone want to confess your sins anyone you can raise up a hand now and then we pray for you any more? yes Let's pray together. Father God, we know that you are gracious and we need your mercy, Lord. We have sinned against you, Lord. Those hands, is a genuine from their heart. We know they put it up. It's not just by accident. And they really, maybe, they, some of them maybe because of the addiction, some of them maybe like like just cannot fight the temptation. Some of them may be like different things happen in their life. But no matter what, Lord, forgive their sin and restore their heart. Give a pure heart and clean hand to them, Lord. And your gospel always powerful, not just uh, for that day that we believe in you, but your gospel power is here for us every single day. Make, a, make us anew. Let us refresh our soul because of you, because of your grace, Lord. And let us to make right with you once again. We may be like confess our sins for so many times in this century, but no matter what, Lord, today is a day that we can change and we can repent. Be with everyone in here. Father, we thank you. And also bless everyone and let us to have a blessed day. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. So let's stand. Do the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us. Say from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let's receive the benediction by faith. Let's pray. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Some announcements, offering, uh, if you have offering, you can drop offering off in the offering box. You can also interact e-transfer to inquiry at ccmc.ca. If you'd like to send a physical check, please send it to the church office during church hours and just call before you come to deliver it. Uh, for church retreat, we thank the Lord for the church retreat that took place last week at Redeemer University. All participants have times to retreat and to connect with one another. A special thanks to the planning committee and all the helpers that helped put the retreat together.
Cairo softball game will take place today at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. The location is Oriole Park. If any of you have time, please come and support the team. Council meeting. The 2024 to 2025 Church Council will meet for the first time online at 2.30 today. Let's remember our pastors and leaders in our prayers. Here are next week's worship responsibilities after a moment of silent prayer service will be concluded.